A warning to Tobagonians from political leader of the People's National Movement, who says, don't be fooled by the utterances and promises of political leader of the progressive democratic patriots, Watson Duke, as he is an agent for the United National Congress. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley spent the weekend in Tobago as the PNM's election campaign continued. More in this report from Crystal Wilson. Do not be fooled by promises of independence and internal self-government. The call for Tobagonians to be careful came from Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley on Sunday night during a political meeting at the Signal Hill Secondary School. According to the political leader of the People's National Movement, there's an individual promising to secure the interests of the people of Tobago. He said that same person is working closely with the United National Congress. And how I know is because I'm contesting against the UNC and I get my information from the UNC. And as a matter of fact, they are paying more attention to and providing more resources to Watson Duke in Tobago than in their own seats in Trinidad. The Prime Minister said Tobagonians should be wary of Mr. Duke and his alliance with the UNC. He added, if Tobagonians give the other political parties an opportunity to take one of the two seats up for grabs in the upcoming election, this will not end well. All along, you hear the leader of the UNC saying, we are going alone, we are standing alone, we want no coalition. But two weeks before the election, she's calling for an accord with other parties. What other parties is she calling for accord with? She's signaling that she's opening the door to bring Watson Duke in if you put God out your thoughts and give him one of Tobago seats. Meanwhile, the PNM's candidate for Tobago West, Shamfa Kajo, gave her word that the party will continue to save Tobago from the mismanagement it suffered under the previous administration. She said for too long, Tobagonians were left undone under the leadership of the United National Congress. They had the chance to expand the airport and to do the airport project, and they called on off the airport and didn't do any work there for five years and four months. They had the choice to open up the, to the tourism accommodation upgrade program to Tobago stakeholders. The Progressive Democratic Patriots is set to contest both the Tobago East and West seats against the PNM, while the UNC have not sent any candidates for either. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.